Hello and in this video we are going to learn how to use Gantt chart for project management. Now first we will need to download the software and it is a free software just Google Gantt project download. Okay the website is gantproject.biz so click on this and you can see here that there are two options for you to choose from. For option one, you will buy for $5. This is basically the support money that you give to the GAT Project Foundation. Uh, and then there's also a free option that allows you to download for free. So just select the one you want, follow the instruction. So in just one or two minutes, uh, you can have the GAT Project already installed on your laptop or computer. So now let's begin to work on it. Now, first thing first, we will need to learn how to add tasks in that chart and it is quite simple actually just go to task click on new task for example my project is to create a new youtube video so my first task could be to create outline for the video okay that is done now whenever you want to add a new task there are two ways that this can be done one is to go to task and click new task but uh, there's also a shortcut which is Control t and i actually prefer this shortcut instead because it's more intuitive and it's faster so after creating the outline i will need to create the video script for example okay so create video script okay so that is done but now i want to group um, task into each category. For example, both create outline and create video script. Those two tasks belong to the planning phase. So I want to add planning and I want it to be like the category lead. Okay, so first let's press Ctrl T to add a new task and here I'm going to add planning. Okay, now I want to move this up and in order to move task up or down, you just click on these two arrow here. So Planning, I want planning to go up, so let's click on the up arrow. Okay, now I want create outline and create video script to belong to the planning. Um, so there are two ways that this can be done. One is to move the task to the planning. So this, this will tell grad project that we want great outline to be part of the planning. We want planning to be the parent and great outline to be the child category. Okay, and then again do for create video script. Okay, so we'll need to move create video script up. Another way to promote or demo a task is to just click on the task itself. So for example, I want create video script to belong to planning. So in this case, I'm going to click on this option here. Uh, the first option could be to promote and then the second option could be to demote. So click on this and now you can see that great outline and great video script belongs to the planning category. The category lead will have a black um, kind of arrow to indicate that this is the parent category. Now, next let's add duration. For example, for great outline it will be one day but for great video script it will take a bit longer so I'm going to make it two days in order to change the duration for a task is quite simple. All you need to do is to move your mouse to the taskbar until you see the two arrow uh, for, forward and backward and then just uh, right click and hold your mouse to move it. For example, if I want it to take five days, then here it is. But in this case, great video script will not take long. So I'm going to allocate two days for it. Okay, now next we will need to add relationship to our task. Um, the most common type of relationship is finish to start. That means that only when task A gets done, then task B can start. For example, great video script should begin after we have created the outline. So in this case, uh, you can add relationship by just part to the first task and then drag and hold the mouse. You will see the black arrow here. Drag and hold the mouse and point it to the second task and you can see that the relationship will now be changed so the default setting for task relationship is finished to start but later i will also show you how to change the task relationship setting so that two tasks can begin at the same time okay so the planning phase is done now next we will need to uh, add a few more tasks for the production phase so control T to add a new task and my new task would be production. Okay. 
Now control T again and under production I will have a few tasks which is video shooting. Okay, control T. Now after video shooting there will be video editing. Alright. And after video editing I will create a thumbnail. Okay. Now I want production to be the category lead like planning. So all we need to do is to promote production. Hmm, okay. And now let's move production up. Oops. Okay, I'm going to move it down like this. Okay, so let's move video shooting to production, video editing, and create thumbnail. Alright, so this is done. Now next, let's set up relationship because production can only begin once the planning phase is completed. Oh, uh, but here I'm going to show you how to move the taskbar around, how to move the dates around. Um, all you need to do is to click on the category lead and then press Ctrl and move the mouse. And all the tasks that belongs to a particular category will be moved. I'm going to move create thumbnail down. Okay, video shooting, I'm going to move it up. All right, now let's create a relationship from create video script to video shooting. And okay, so this is, so this is done. Now video shooting and video editing. All right, now for create thumbnail, uh, actually thumbnail can be done at the same time with video editing. So first, I'm going to move the taskbar. But if we set the relationship, then Gatchat will automatically uh, set it as finished to start and this is not what we want. So let's learn how to change it from finished to start to start to start. Uh, let's change the um, task relationship by right clicking on the taskbar for create thumbnail. Okay, and here's a spell, spelling error, so I'm going to change it. So the predecessor will be video editing. Yes, but the type is finished to start. We want to change it to start to start. So just click on the finish to start and you can see a drop down dialog box. So just select the last option, which is start to start. All right, click OK. Now you can move the task around. And in order to move the taskbar, all you need to do is to press Control and then move the taskbar around. So this is done. Now next, uh, some of you might be wondering, but the default start date is today and in a lot of cases, we want the default start date to be either sooner or later. So in this case, it's quite easy. All you need to do is to press Control and then move the task around. Okay, I'm going to move the relationship here. And if you want it to start at a later date, for example, if you want it to start one month from now, just press Ctrl and then move the thing around. So I'm going to set it to start September 5th. All right. And then just move this one. And this is done. Okay. Some of you might be wondering, oh, but how come the dates are a bit funny? For example, September 2nd and then September 5th, and here is September 9th, and then September 12th. Uh, this is due to a weekend setting. So basically the default setting on Gantt chart is that your project will only happen during weekdays. On weekends, no task will get done. And this is because in the majority of cases, for example, in a factory environment or in a business environment, weekends are rest days for workers. If you want workers to work on weekends, usually this will push up the project cost quite significantly because you need to pay overtime and such and such. But in a lot of cases, especially if you have tight deadlines to follow, then you need to change the weekend setting, for example. You want to set it so that your project will be happening six days a week or even seven days a week. Some projects are working around the clock. So in order to change the weekend setting, all you need to do is to go to project, go to property, select calendar, and here the default setting is that during weekends, no task can run. So just click on the drop down arrow and select all tasks run as on the other days. Uncheck the Saturday and Sunday and now your project will be working around the clock seven days a week. Click OK. Now let's see what happens. 
So you can see that now September 9 is a Friday, but on September 10 and 11, work will resume as normal. So let's change by moving the dates around. Yep, how it works. Now, let's learn how to add the duration, like the percentage. So now if you want to indicate like how much percentage of a particular task has been completed. So now, for example, I, I am halfway done in creating my video script and I want it to be reflected in the get chart. Now there are two ways that this can be done. One is to right click on the task, go to task property, go to progress and then just type in whatever you want. You can type 50 or if you want to be careful, just type 50%. Click OK and now you can see that there's a black, there's a black line that, indic that indicates duration. Now uh, you can also uh, indicate duration manually. For example, uh, here I'm going to set the video shooting for a few more days so that it is visually it is easier for you to see. OK, now let's hover the mouse. You can see that the mouse sign is a hand. Move it to the start of the task until you see a black arrow and a small percentage. Now, just hold and press the right mouse button. And here you can just very intuitively uh, set the task duration. So for example, this one is, um, let's say, 35% completed. All right. And that is done. So you can see that GAT project isn't very complicated to use and it is not only easy, it's also free and it offers more flexibility than other non-project management software. For example, previously I used to use Excel to create project calendar and it involves a lot of manual adjustment and setup but with GAN project things are a lot easier because it is a specialized software for project management. So I hope you found this video useful. Happy learning and see you in the next video.